the next topic we are going to see about EQ potential surface. EQ potential surface. So next topic is EQ potential surface. The number itself, one can able to understand it. the potential is equal in a given surface. So what's the meaning of this? When you, in a, in a given surface, if you look at any point, more than one point, if at all the points if the potentials are equal, we can call that surface as the EQ potential surface. So by speaking, I can easily speak about that uh, what is known as EQ potential surface, but you should understand what it is diagrammatically. In the case of uh, isolated charges, in the case of isolated charge, we can imagine a sphere like this, like this. Don't assume this is a, a circle, this is a sphere which encloses a charge. If I look at a point here and there, all the points will be at the same distance. So what is the expression for the V? P is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q by R. So this R is the same for all the points located on the surface of the imaginary sphere. So if you look at the point A, if you consider this is a point B, then if I keep a one coulomb of charge from point to this point to this point, the work done in moving, work done in moving, any amount of charge from this to this is equal to zero. Because W is equal to V into Q. This V is nothing but V A minus V B into Q is equal to work done. Then if you want to calculate what is the potential difference between V A minus V B between the two points V and minus V becomes W by Q. So the this for V A, V A is the potential. So what is V B? V B is the same potential, 1 by 4 by epsilon naught into Q by R. So expression at A and B for the potential will be the same. So this becomes same. So work then is equal to 0. So what I am trying to say is, the electric potential are same for this particular shape in the case of an isolated charge. Again I want to stress the shape of a EQ potential surface in the case of an isolated positive charge is sphere. Similar to that, you can draw any number of uh, spheres. Each and every sphere is a EQ potential surface on its own. But if you look at a point, one, two points in different different sphere, and you can't say that these are all EQ potential surface. So for a given sphere, if you look at any number of points, the potential on the particular sphere will be constant. So the shape of electric potential difference in the case of isolated charge is concentric spheres. It's a very important one more question. And similarly, by this expression, the work done in moving any amount of charge from one point to the another, another, another point, any point to the any other point on the EQ potential surface is always equal to zero. A question may be asked like that. Work done in moving 1000 coulomb of charge from one point to the another point on the EQ potential surface is equal to zero. It may be a 1000 coulomb or it may be a 1 crore coulomb or maybe a 1 coulomb. So whatever be the quantity of charge, if it is moved from one point to the another point against the EQ potential or on the EQ potential surface is always equal to zero. The next point, in the case of a uniform electric field, <coughs> so if there is a charge is operating in a uniform electric field, if you just block, so imagine using this white sheet, I am just blocking the electric lines of force. So I can I can take a three points which intersects this particular plane of sheet. 
So all these points will be at the same distance from the charge. So the potential at this particular sheet here, here, here will be the same. Above, I can say that the electric electric potential in the case of parallel plane for the uniform electric field is same. Similarly, you can you can insert any number of numerous number of planes. So, in the case of a uniform electric field, the electric lines of force, when they cut normal to the sheet, on the point, on the sheet, we locate any number of points, the electrical potential will be same. So, the another one more question can be asked, what is the shape of the ET potential surface in the case of uniform electric field? The answer is parallel planes. What is the answer? Parallel planes. So, one three mark question and three one mark question can be asked. What is known as EQ potential surface? One three mark question. What is the shape of the EQ potential surface in the case of isolated charge? Answer is concentric sphere. And what is the work done in moving any amount of charge from one point to another, another point on the EQ potential surface? The answer is zero. The next one. What is the shape of the EQ potential surface in the case of a uniform electric field? It's parallel planes. I hope you have understood all the points very clearly. Now we will move on to the next important topic, Gauss law. So Gauss law, the main purpose of Gauss law is used to calculate the total flux of an electric field. So Gauss law, Gauss's law is used to, is used to calculate total flux of the electric field if the field is not a uniform, if the field is not a uniform electric field. So consider this is a non-uniform electric field in which if you just place an enclosed a surface on the enclosed surface, you can imagine like a, a football like football like structure. When you just place a, such a, a closed surface in a uniform electric field, you consider a very small surface on the outer surface of the closed surface. Say that small surface as a DS. And to which you if you draw a normal, so on your board, since it's a two-dimensional diagram, I can draw a line like this. So that any normal drawn to the any other surface can be called as area vector. So I can say that this is a ds vector. But the electric field passing this passing through this small area can be understood as a uniform electric field. So I can say this is an electric field E. The angle between them is say yeah, yeah theta. So if I want to calculate the total flux passing through the very small area, so a d5 is equal to vector E dot and d is vector. Then if you want to calculate what is the total flux crossing or passing over the entire surface, entire closed surface, I have to take the integration which only covers the outer surface called surface integration. This integration must be named as surface integration which deals about which calculates only the outer surface of the closed surface is equal to surface integral of E D S will give you what? We have total flux. So now any two any any this is a dot product dot product of the vector. So if you want to expand it and uh, phi is equal to total flux. So flux is referred by letter symbol phi. Phi is equal to E dot surface integral of E D S E D S cos theta. So this is the expansion of calculation of the total flux phi is equal to surface integral of E D S cos theta. What is the unit of a, a flux? Unit of a flux is n m square c minus one. Important one more question. Even the expression is also important one more question. And what is known as how will you define the flux? You have already studied in eleventh standard. In the 10th 